What's going on everyone? Welcome to Essential Style. Today we're going to talk about how to get the perfect fitting peacoat. Let's get right into it. All right, so peacoats are absolutely great jackets. They're warm, they're stylish, they're versatile. You can wear them in just about any situation. Highly, highly, highly recommend you get a peacoat. The first tip for getting the perfect fit peacoat is actually to go ahead and size down. What does size down mean? I learned this from Alpha M many, many years ago. If you're normally a size large in jacket, try the size medium. If you're normally a size medium, try the size small, and so on and so forth. I'm not saying just go ahead and buy the smaller size right from the get-go but definitely try both sizes just to see which one fits you well so for example this particular pea coat this is the shot NYC pea coat this is actually a size 40 so I'm always a size 42 in the sport coats and suit jackets that's my size and what I actually did was I sized down to the size 40 long and this one absolutely fits me great I still got tons of room it's still stylish so I actually was able to size down because it's a bigger more generous fit and now the peacoat actually looks a lot more slimming, a lot more pleasing when I wear it. All right, now speaking of the size, you wanna make sure that your peacoat is actually long enough. Why? The longer jackets, usually if they hit about between your hip and mid thigh, this is almost hitting me mid thigh right here. If I stand all the way back here, you can see it's, a, it's hitting me almost at mid thigh. What this is gonna do is it's going to make you appear slimmer. So the longer jackets are actually gonna make you appear slimmer and taller, but also as a bonus, I always like my pea coats and even my parka jackets to be able to go over a sport coat or a suit jacket. So if you could see, this is where the sport coat ends. The pea coat is a good that much longer than the sport coat. If I was wearing a suit jacket, maybe I had an interview, maybe I had something important to go to and I wanted to look like a boss but also keep super warm, I'm able to actually wear the pea coat over that jacket and it's not going to look all weird with the jacket poking out underneath it. All right, now the third tip, we're still talking about size. This size and fit is, fit, fit is key and size, is, size and fit are really key. You want to try different fits in the same jacket. What do I mean by that? This jacket is a very big billowy fit. It is not a slim fit jacket. It is a very boxy cut. It's classic boxy, what you'd see from a 1990s TV show, right? In this jacket, because it's so big and roomy, I did size down and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Now I mentioned that I also tried it in a shorter size and then the sleeves were a bit too short for me. It wasn't as warm. I also tried it in a size 38 and it actually still fit, but it was a bit tight up here. But when I looked at it in the mirror in the store, there was really no difference in the way that they fit. The only thing was I could see the size 38 was pulling over here where the size 40 is actually good. Shot NYC and some other brands make some slim fit peacoats. Slim fit peacoats normally are going to give you more room in the chest and shoulders. That way it's easier to move. Your armholes might be slimmer and also your waist might be slimmer. This is more of a modern slim fit. Remember when slim fit first became a thing? It's like all the manufacturers just took all their garments and just shrank them and they were way too tight in the shoulders. It was so hard to move. So don't be scared to try different sizes and different fits as much as you can until you find one that looks good and also is the most comfortable that you can get. All right, tip number four, we're also going to talk about the fit. I did mention to size down, make sure that it's nice and slim. You don't want to size down too much. So remember I just said that I sized down to a size 38 and it actually still fit me, but I opted to the 40. I want to be able to layer under this jacket if it gets super cold, because then I'm just going to get a lot more use out of it. So let me show you. Currently, I am wearing a long sleeve button up flannel shirt. I have a sport coat over it. Now, if I actually go ahead, let's say it's super cold and I want to actually wear a sport coat, I want to wear a flannel, but I also want to wear my peak coat. Say I want to look my absolute best. I want to look nice and classic. We put on my LL Bean packable jacket. It's so thin, it's so lightweight. If I wanted, I'm still able to button the peak coat over all of these layers. And I can tell it now it's a bit tight, a bit tight. Well, the sport coat is more of what I feel tight. I feel the sport coat getting tight underneath the lightweight down jacket, the lightweight Prima Loft packable, the, the LL Bean jacket with the orange zipper. I can feel the sport coat getting tight, but the pea coat, if we look over here, there's no pulling of the fabric. I'm still able to move my arms. I could probably still drive a car with this. I could even throw a football if I want. I could, you know, I could do some rows. I could do some crazy dances. You don't want to size down too much in your pea coat or any jacket that you actually want to be able to 
layer underneath. I normally would not feel the need to layer underneath, like to layer this much underneath this particular jacket. This is a little bit of an extreme example. I wanted to actually just show you an exaggerated example of what you can do if you actually do go ahead and get a pea coat that looks good and has that slim appearance, but you could still actually layer a bunch of layers underneath it. It's only gonna be able to keep you super warm and you're gonna get a lot more use out of that jacket. And now the fifth tip is, <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the fifth tip is, if I back up right here, if I put the collar down, you can see all of a sudden the pea coat looks big and billowy. Why? Why does it look so big and billowy? Because I have it unbuttoned. When you have a jacket like a pea coat or a trench coat with the two buttons right here and it has the fabric that actually folds over itself, this is what's called a double-breasted jacket. Double-breasted pea coats, double-breasted overcoats are meant to be worn buttoned up. That's when they're going to look the best. That's when they're going to create that masculine silhouette, masculine appearance of big, broad shoulders and chest, slim waist. You could even see just the way that the lapels, the collar, and the two buttons, it has a very slimming effect. So you do wanna wear it closed as much as you can. This has sometimes become an issue for me if I'm walking into an, a department store or if I'm inside and I haven't taken my jacket off. Sometimes I do just end up unbuttoning it and just leaving it like that, just that way I'm not overheating. As much as I can, I always try to button at least one or two buttons. I normally go two buttons just so I don't put a lot of strain on one button. I still maintain that slim silhouette, but then I still get a lot of airflow and I don't overheat as bad. And now this next tip is going to be make sure you choose a neutral color like black, dark navy, or some sort of a dark gray or a medium gray. Reason for this is it's going to be a lot easier to wear it in multiple situations. It's not going to stand out as much. A lot of people like to wear tan coats. Now I can see the appearance of the tan coat, especially if you're someone like me and you're always wearing jeans and you're always wearing blue. Tan's gonna look absolutely great. However, that tan coat or the camel coat is always going to jump out at you. So I would always recommend opting for something more of a neutral or more boring color like dark navy, dark charcoal gray, medium gray, or black. Now, if you actually do wanna add some color to your outfit, I would say just play around with your scarves. Now, I normally wear a tan scarf just because I find that this does add more color to the outfit. You probably see me wearing this scarf in some of my vlogs and my other videos because now I do have that pop of color, right? I'm not just, if I was wearing all blue like I, like I am right now, the tan scarf actually does give that pop of color, especially if I unbutton it right there, you could see more of the scarf. And now finally, tip number seven is you want to make sure that you actually like the jacket that you wear. This is pretty much a no-brainer. Make sure that you get something that you like. If you want a tan jacket, get a tan jacket. You want a short jacket, get a short jacket. You want a super slim jacket, get a super slim jacket. You don't want to wear it in medium, medium cold temperatures. You don't, you know, if you can rely on a parka, then you don't really need a jacket that's going to be able to take you through the depths of the winter like I have. Make sure you love the way you look. Make sure you're happy and satisfied with it, no matter what I tell you or any other salesperson tells you. And then that's only going to boost your confidence because you're going to look great and you're also going to feel great. So that is seven tips on how to get the perfect fit pea coat. I hope it helped. I hope you had fun. And as always, I hope you learned something. Appreciate every single one of you. I will see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.